Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. My name is Catherine. I'm the host. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, this is a general love reading. So please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, share, comment, like this video, please, everyone. Also, you guys, for those who are subscribed to the channel, I do a monthly giveaway around the first is when I announce the winners. Everything that I give away is in the description box below. I also give away a three question reading every week. So the weekly giveaways, you do have to enter in order to win. So in order to enter, please hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the comments. Okay. Put it in the comment section, not in the chat or I won't see it. But if you put it in the comments, I will see that and I will enter your name into this drawing and I am about to do it right now. Um, I am doing the drawings on Fridays, you guys. Um, I am a little bit late, so I am sorry. But every week I will be doing this drawing. Okay. So, uh, regardless of whatever day I actually do it, you guys, because sometimes my schedule changes, but for the most part, I will stick to the Friday schedule because it just works best for me. Okay. So let's go ahead and select our first winner. All right. And then we will get into the reading immediately after we're going to be looking at messages for the collective today. All right. So for those of you who are new, please go ahead right now, hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the comments, and I will enter you into the drawing for next Friday. All right. Winner number one. And you can win up to three times in a calendar year on this channel. We have Rhonda Gilbert. Rhonda Gilbert, congratulations, my love. Rhonda Gilbert. You are a winner of a three question reading. Please email me in order to claim your prize. You have to email me at queencancertarot at gmail.com. All right, winner number two. We have Carlissa Boyd. Carlissa Boyd. Congratulations, my love. You are a winner of a three question reading. Please email me, Carlissa, in order to claim your prize. Okay. I do not reach out to you guys. You have to send me an email at queencancertarot at gmail.com. My email information is also below. Uh, Carlisa, I just dropped you in there by accident. But if I pull you out again this time, it doesn't count. All right. Let's pull winner number three. Winner number three. Everybody will go back in to the drawing unless it's your third time winning. I think there's only one person that has done that or two people so far. So we have Casey. Casey, congratulations, my love. You just won yourself a three question reading with me. All right. So all three of you lovely, lovely subscribers, congratulations. Thank you so much for entering in the drawing, first of all. And thank you for being subscribed. Okay. Even more so and blessings. Okay. And congratulations to the winners. 
And thank you to everybody else who entered. And don't worry, because we will be doing this again very soon. I will also be going live, and we're going to be playing a couple of games during that live. So you guys will have an opportunity to ask a free question during the live. So please stay tuned. Put your notifications on, because I will be going live shortly. Okay. All right, let's do this. So we are going to look at messages for the collective cancer and we are getting closer and closer to this whew, to this eclipse and boy is it going to be a doozy solar eclipse you guys it's going to be if you have an opportunity to view it please i encourage you to get your glasses your safety glasses and view the eclipse okay there's a point in which during total totality, during, you can take your glasses off and look at it directly. But I encourage you to put your glasses on and view it, y'all. Get out there and view it if you can, if you're in the path. I happen to be in the direct path. Okay. Okay. So let's let's get started these messages are going to be time stamped spiritual messages starting at 623 spiritual messages at 623 all right so what i have chosen and why you see a stack of oracle cards here very neatly stacked um miss Day. Um, I am going to be choosing, um, which I've already chosen, an oracle deck for each message. Okay. And then we will look at the tarot. Okay. So we're going to pull one card from each of these decks for our message. Okay. So right now we're looking at spiritual messages here, y'all. And please excuse me if my shuffling is a bit off. My finger is and a lot of pain, and it's not even the finger that I'm about to have surgery on. But when I have surgery on that finger, they're also going to shoot me up on this finger uh, and check me with some some pain stuff. So hopefully, oh goodness, I'm not going to have too much trouble. But it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a pain. <laughs> oh goodness, no pun into intended for sure. Um but I already know that it is. So I'm just preparing myself. But yes, I'm having surgery, you guys, on Tuesday. Um, on my thumb, I have to release uh, whatever it is that's causing this trigger finger in my thumb to occur. And my carpal tunnel surgery did fail. And so that is why we're having to do this. And it's failing on the other side as well. So I was... I think I was told a long time ago that I would be have effects with my hands um, just based on my astrological chart. So, and I, I believe my shoulders too, and I do have issues with both. So y'all need to look in again, y'all natal chart done if you have not already. <laughs> okay, so Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, what clarity, what guidance, and what spiritual messages do we have for Cancer and the Collective? We're looking for spiritual messages today for Cancer and the Collective. We will look at love messages and then karmic, friends and family, career finance, singles, Okay, and then we will take it into an extended and we will then ask two yes or no questions. We'll look at future predictive oracle messages and all 12 signs. So this is going to be jam packed with information, y'all. Spiritual messages. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about cancer. Okay. I have chosen... So we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, which is interesting. I pulled this card before recently. 
It says seeding the light, laying foundations and divine plan. Definitely an energy coming directly from the divine here. Okay. <laughs> and this is all about seeding the light. So spreading the light, laying foundations. So you're responsible for many. There's an energy of there are people who look up to you and are looking for answers or looking for um, a role model, someone that they can, um, you know, mimic after, not necessarily mimic. I want to say someone that they can look upon and, you know, build their, their thoughts on what this person's existing practices are. You know what I mean? So just someone to bounce things off of a good role model, basically. All right. So this also talks about a divine plan. So this talks about you being chosen. Okay. This talks about you being chosen, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, there are others who are looking on you for direction. Sometimes that's a heavy cross to bear. Some, you know, are actually going after that. Most people are not going after that um, because it is a very heavy hat to wear. It's a heavy hat to wear. Kind of like a crown. If you think of the crowns and how heavy they used to be, there's a reason for that, I believe. And I'm going to look into that. I'm going to put that into our studies. That's one of the things we are going to uh, talk about on Tarot Talk Live. Yeah, we do talk about all kinds of stuff on that channel. So the weight of the royal crowns. Now I know that they're made out of like solid gold and jewels and things of that nature. However, there is still, I feel like a symbolic nature behind the fact that they have to wear this on their head. They could just adorn themselves in this. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but yes, they're wearing it on their heads. But some of you, I feel, like I said, um, you definitely have a cross to bear. You have a lot of people that are looking up to you. So you may do public speaking. You may privately counsel um, others. You know what I'm saying? So there's just an energy of people are coming to you. Um, and this is in a motherly energy. Feminine energy. Um, I'm getting that here, obviously. With Anna and grandmother here, it all began, and this was the plan, and on on this realm where it all began. Okay, so there's an energy that spirit <clears throat> needs you to be understanding that you are ascended. You are, you know, this spiritual being, this feminine person they are ascended. Okay. Um, they're not down on the ground with the others. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not. They are high up over those others because others are looking up to them. They have to lay a foundation. That crown chakra is open as well. And spirit is able to enter in. Do you see what I'm saying? In order to have a greater effect on the people down below. So this person has definitely 
ascended, okay? This is all about ascension here. So it's time for you to raise yourself up. I feel like spirit is wanting you to raise yourself up above others. There's a sense in some of you are still trying to walk around with everyone else. And you can't necessarily do that. I don't mean you can't talk with everybody else or, you know, <clears throat> but what I'm saying is walking in the path of others. Okay. No, you, if you know the way, why would you do that? You're going to walk in the path of the light, going directly to it, and you're going to entice others that you're already enticing others. So you're also bringing others into that direct path. Do you see what I mean? Rather than steering them in another direction or going in the directions that they're going in, you might as well be down there with them. Do you see what how that correlates? So... And this is for those who have a gift. This is for those who are light workers. This is for those who are responsible for, for teaching others. Talk about anybody else. If you're sitting in your, you know, corner of your room and you're not even logged on, like you don't affect anybody, just you, yourself and you. I'm not speaking to you, but if you have an effect on mul multiple others, okay, speaking to them, teaching them, getting in their ear with information, okay, um, then I feel as though this is a message that spirit has for you. Planting the light laying foundations and it's a divine plan so let's look at the tarot here and see what spirit has for you holy spirit angels and vibes tell me about cancer in the collective and spiritual messages for cancer in the collective please holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer and the collective what spiritual messages do you have for cancer in the collective, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer in the collective. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and the Sun in the reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Fire Energy. And then we have Justice, Libra Energy. And we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, under the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Look at here, look at here. So... There's an energy of you are better off sometimes going the lone route, okay? Doing things on your own. <clears throat> it's a lonely road, but it's the only road to success in your case. That, that queen of wands or that third party energy or that outside energy Okay, that is a distraction. That is something that is trying to take you off course. So there is an energy of there is someone with that seven of swords here and with the sun in the reverse. Now, with the sun in the upright, this is a very, very confident energy. Okay, when it's in the reverse, Someone is not getting what they want, okay? Or someone is trying to keep you from getting what you want, okay? Um, there is also an energy of you 
um, not seeing other people's intentions, but there's an energy of someone who's trying to block your happiness here. With the Justice card, this could be someone that you are no longer speaking to. Um, this could be a karmic here, okay? Someone that you stopped talking to a while ago. Or there could just be an energy of karma. There could be something that you did in the past, okay? Um, something that you did in the past or someone that you kind of opened your door to in the past. And now this person is like, you know, kind of able to kind of get in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you've kind of opened the door to this. And so now it's kind of blocking your energy or it's kind of putting this like negative energy over you. If you've ever noticed, cause I've, done this now in the past and this is like in the beginning when i first started reading i noticed that after doing certain people's readings not just being exhausted because that's normal um but there are certain people that i would do a reading for and it was like their energy just hung on me for days i would just feel like completely drained, like I couldn't sleep. And then I would have people that would have recurring like questions because they couldn't like, they didn't want to accept the information that was given to them in a reading turned out to be true. Um, but there is <laughs> sometimes, and there has been, and was a situation where, you know, I didn't give this person what they wanted to hear. And I'm trying to tell you, I felt that person's energy for weeks, if not months, um, before I realized like, okay, I need to cleanse my energy in a different way. Like definitely um, being more on purpose, you know what I'm saying? Um, doing things in, in a in a more purposeful way. I just feel like, I feel like it directs that energy like 10 times, 20 times, 50 times the magnitude is if you were just kind of like saying, oh, you know, please um, cover me and protect me from all my enemies rather than God protect me from those that are coming against me to try and block me and block my energy and stop my wealth and try to keep me from getting through my readings in a proper manner. You know, certain things like that, people that are coming into my comments, leaving comments to cause others to feel, you know, in a certain type of way, chaos, magic, things of that nature, being very specific. And this is exactly what I am doing. I'm doing this even now, um, speaking about it. It's the intention of it all. There it is, the intention. Doing things with specific intentions is way more powerful than if you were to just do it because it was just, it just popped in your head to do it. You know, that's one thing too. You can be intuitive and led to do things, but there's a lot of power behind that intention, especially when you're reading tarot, even. People like to see the cards as they're being flipped, but they also like to know the questions prior to you flipping the cards. Like, that's, you know, kind of weird because you can say anything, right? People can, I'm sure people have tried it, but you can see through that kind of thing. At least I, if you're a cancer, I know you can. Um, but no, seriously, um, people can see through that mess all day long. I know I can. So, all right. So uh, there's an energy here of going it alone. With that justice card here. It's like something is coming back around 
okay, um, with the Knight of Wands, this is an energy of someone or this is like you being refusing to accept whatever this is. It's like someone is saying, this is what you have to take. You know what I mean? And this is you going against it here. This is you going against it here. Now, the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. It's like an energy of being um, It's like an energy of being out. You know how that people say you're down and out? I feel like this person is out, but they're not down. If that makes sense. They're out, but they're not down. That Queen of Wands is a very confident energy. One who is knows what they want. They know where they're going. They don't need people to tell them what to do. Same thing with the Knight of Wands here. Both of these cards are reflective of masculine and feminine. Okay. Both sides of the fence of you are not going to be the boss of me. I make and create my own way. With the Justice card, this is you telling people, literally saying, I'm refusing to give up my integrity, okay, in order to follow others. With that seven of swords, this doesn't necessarily always mean someone telling a lie or being deceitful. It can also mean that someone is doing something without others knowing, or even doing things and evading others from knowing what they're doing. There's nothing wrong with that. This is all about good business, okay? This is like being a good business owner, okay? Um, or innovator. Just think of if Apple were to reveal its blueprints, okay, to their next like iPhone release, you know what I mean? Like who does that? No one, no one expects you to. So this comes on all levels. However, I feel like spirit is saying, do things in secret, move in secret because there are, look with the sun in the reverse, there are those who are trying to block you from getting what you want. Cancer with the justice card and the knight of wands continue to have integrity continue to do what's right continue to walk the path of anna the grandmother of jesus everything has a divine plan you stay on that path of enlightenment of or ascension or righteousness and you will always 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 win at the end of the day, even if with the king or the knight of wands, excuse me, with the knight of wands, even if you're going in an opposite direction of everyone else, which is what that is reflecting, it does not mean that you're going to lose. Okay. As a matter of fact, with the, like I said, the nine of pentacles, the five of pentacles and the queen of wands, you may be out. Okay. <laughs> but you are not down cancer. And that is actually going to be the title of this reading here. Okay. You may be out, but you are not down. Okay. And I am going to break these into mini messages and this will be our spiritual message for the day. I will come back and do a message with our love message for the day. I think that's how I will do these readings. Um, so yes, it'll still be time stamped. Okay. 
I will still make the extended available in the description box below. We are going to be looking at two yes or no questions. Future predictive oracle messages and all 12 signs are going to be in the extended. If you're interested, the link will be below. But please, please stay tuned. I will be back with another video with our love message for today. All right, this is our spiritual message for Cancer and the Collective. And I just included our weekly winning announcement because I'm tardy for the party. It's okay. I love you guys so much. I am going live on this channel and on Tarot Talk Live. Keep your notifications on. We will be, I will be doing some free question giveaways during that live. So you have to be present and in the comments in the chat. Okay. So give a shout out once you guys come into the chat and uh, you will automatically be entered in your chance to win. All right. I will see y'all later and I will see you back at the next message. Love coming up next. Bye.